guys. What's up? Okay, so I have got some awesome Twisted Allure stuff to show you guys today. Um, I've got some stuff from her summer line. I've got um, a Goosebumps box to show you, which is why I have all my Goosebumps books out here. Actually, they're not mine. I'm actually um, not well-versed in Goosebumps at all. These are my daughter's books. She's the big Goosebumps fan, which is what pushed me to buy this box. But, um, and I'll pull that out in just a second. But um, just for anybody who thinks that I might be long-winded or talk too much, instead of maybe um, letting me know that again in the comments, it might just be a good idea for you to click off because if you don't maybe enjoy my unboxings, then maybe um, that might be a better alternative because I understand that that might be true. I've said that myself several times. So um, just use your own judgment. But anyway, um, so this scrub is Welcome to Dead House. And what I like about her packaging, she always lists the scent on the packaging, which you never have to wonder what it is. This is Candy Coated Marshmallows. I'll show you guys, I always love to open her scrubs and show you guys what they look like. Because they're just so aesthetically pleasing to look at. They're so super creamy. Now, I have, I have already opened and smelled these right here. This one, to me, reminds me of her Happy Death Wish scrub. It's, um, I think, it's just, it, to me, that smells like a sweet, like, frosting. And that's what this one smells like to me. That's what it reminds me of. This one is her Slaughter Beach. I think this has been a line item in her shop for a while. I think this is so pretty. I don't know why I haven't picked it up until now, but this is the blue Hawaiian scent, so it's really tropical. And so it's blue and white, and it's got like the blood drips coming down the sides, and it's just really tropical. So, so pretty. And if you're not familiar with the blue Hawaiian smell, it's, um, not like super pineapple-y, but I know it's got a few different notes in it, but oh, it's just really, really tropical. It's awesome. I love it. Maybe has a little melon in it. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's really good. Um, this little scrub is called Ice Cream, Ice Cream Truck. It smells kind of like, um, it's Neapolitan colors. Um, it's kind of like a chocolate vanilla. I'm not a big fan of like um, chocolate scents and bombs or scrubs or anything like that, so that's why I didn't order this one. But that's exactly what it smells like. This one, now, this is called Shark Sacrifice. I love this one. I wish I'd picked this one up, of course. Um, she's all out of all of these summer scents now. But this one was berries and vanilla, mixed berries and vanilla, I think. Oh, my gosh. This smells like really tart blue raspberry to me. Oh, my God. I love it. I love this. I wish I'd picked it up. Um, I could have actually bought the whole line. I actually couldn't have, but I would have um, if I'd had the means. Now, this one is One Day at Horrorland, um, a little sample soap. She's really good about putting a lot of samples in her box Now, um, when you order. Now, this is the One Day at Horrorland, too, which is what I'm going to um, talk about right here. Same as that sample. This is Sweet Grape and Sour Taffy Candy. Now, this smells like, now I'm in love with her hand soaps, so I just always keep a stock of those around. It's a really sweet grape is what this smells like to me. It's not really tart. It's really sweet. It does like smell like candy. So I like that the color of this is just really pretty. And of course, her labeling is always really nice. Now, this is Death by Jellyfish. And this is Juicy Strawberries. And I, like I said, I already have smelled all these. And this is different than her um, Unbirthday Massacre, which is pretty much my favorite scent of hers, that and the Immortal, which is her dark cherry scent. Um, this is different. It is more of a, um, like a fresh, well, Juicy Strawberries is what it says, but there's, it's not quite as sweet. Um, so that is... The Death by Jellyfish. This one is Slaughter Beach. Was is the same scent as the scrub. It's the tropical um, scent right here. So anyway, let me go ahead and bring out the goosebumps. But anyway, I'm real pleased with these, and I wanted to order so much more, but I held back because she had so many more scrubs and um, body butter, so many more scents. But I just really held back, and I did that so. 
I could get this Goosebumps box because my theory was I could order a whole bunch from the lines or I could get the box. So anyway, that's what I did. So I'll be right back and um, we'll look at the box. All right, so here we go. We are looking in the box now. Um, I did just pop the top off of this since I wanted to make sure and show you guys. I haven't gotten a box from her in a while. I think I got one um, last Christmas is the last time I've gotten one of her boxes. So i um, really excited about this one. Okay, so this is the Twisted Goosebumps. There obviously is the name of it. And here's her card. Now, of course, you know, I'm going to really appreciate um, everything in this box because I know kind of everything it takes to build a box now and um, so this is just a really nice card the artwork is really nice it's just really nicely printed and everything um, that's in the box is going to say right here on this card for you to reference even though hers are really labeled really nicely okay so and I think the price of this box I think it was $50 plus shipping now I'm also going to tell you um, as far as the way I priced my box I'm right in the middle of her boxes and the Mad Bombers boxes. Hers, um, jeans, Mad Bombers boxes, they're between $60 and $70 plus shipping. And she puts a lot of things in her boxes too. And they're all handmade by indie vendors and, you know, just like Lisa's. And quite honestly, I mean, their boxes were 100% the inspiration for me to um, try and put a box together. So I'm just really look up to them and I'm like, in awe of their boxes so um they're absolutely worth every penny okay now on to the box okay so it comes with an actual book that is adorable so i don't know if um i don't know if we have this one i don't know we'll have to see we'll put it back here see if it'll stand up so that one is night of the living dummy that's adorable i love all the little add-ons that just make it more than just bath products it just makes it kind of come together it's like a whole concept it's just I love it. Okay, so Night of the Living Dummy. Okay, so that is the same name as that. I'm not sure what that sin is. It's very citrusy. Now that looks like a body butter. Okay, so there's a sample of that. Oh my gosh, okay, it's a little movie ticket soap. Very cute. Okay, so that's the one day at Horrorland. Okay, so that is the um that's the, what did I say? Was that the grape soda scent? Well, I guess it will say on here. Um, yeah, the grape taffy. Yeah, that's really, really cute. I like that a lot. And she makes really good soap. So I've gotten the, um, the hand soap. So I've gotten a lot of hers um, before. The bar soaps is what I mean. Okay, this is a scrub sample say cheese and dye this I'm so bad at trying to I don't know this smells good it's fruity it's really fruity and that's another reason why I like so many of her scents is that a lot of them are just mostly they're really fruity and of course that's what I like almost like maybe a mango something like that that's really good okay now it looks like there's a bag in here which so nice, y'all. This is a really, like, thick canvas tote, I can tell right now, which is really nice. Like, really nice. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, my daughter is going to love this, y'all. She's going to love it. So I don't know if I can get all this in the picture here. I'm going to move this box. Can you guys see that? How cute is that? So we've got the book and we've got the tote bag and we've got all kinds of samples and this is our soap so far. And we haven't even really gotten into the big products. Okay, so this is a body spray and this one I, I have a feeling I'm this is not going to be my favorite, and I already knew this, and my daughter loves things like this, so I'm sure she'll probably get this. Okay, so this is a body spray, Curse of Camp Cold Lake, and this is a watery, woodsy type scent, but I reserve the right to keep it if I like it, because you guys know that I like sweet and fruity. 
oh, it's really light. It's light and um, I would say kind of fresh maybe. So, um, I don't know, it's nice. I, I will probably give it to my daughter. I'll probably give a lot of this to her. Um, obviously the book and the bag and um, so she'll probably get this too. But um, that's so cute. Okay, next. Okay, this is a bath bomb, and like I said, I don't get all these references um, because I'm just, Goosebumps was a little after my time. I think that's, is that kind of, is that 90s? It's probably 90s or like later, but um, but yes, I have bought many of Goosebumps books, but I have not read them. Okay, so this is the, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this smells like a sweet tart. Okay, so this is the Haunted Mask Bath Bomb. Oh my gosh. What does it say? It smells like, okay. Um, the Haunted Mask Bath Bomb. Kiwi Watermelon. Oh my gosh. To me, this just smells like sweet tarts or candy. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. So good. And look at the detail on her bath bombs. They're just amazing. Amazing. Look at the teeth awesome. I love that. That's really, really nice. I like it. Okay. Next we have, okay, this is Return of the Dummy Sugar Scrub. And it is blue. Oh, and it looks like it's got some gold in there. Some gold mica maybe in a shimmer. And this is in a blueberry cheesecake ice cream scent. Now, that sounds so good. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, that smells so, so good. It's just totally blueberry or blueberry cheesecake. Oh my gosh, this is all mine, all mine. And this is one of the reasons I wanted this too because this was an exclusive to the box. Now this is not one of the items that she offered um, in her shop by itself as part of the Goosebumps line. So you had to get the box to get this scent. So this is something that I really thought I would like and I do. So I'm glad that I got this for that scent. And let's see, what else, what else? Okay, so this is a body butter. This is a body butter that is Go Eat Worms. Now her body butters, they're really thick and they go a really long way. And if I have not told you guys yet, the best way that I have found that um, her body butters work for me is to use them right when you get out of the shower, when your skin is still um, damp and has a little water on it and they glide on your skin really well. If I use this when my skin is really dry, um, it doesn't go on quite as well because it is really thick. But um, that being said, if you use it, like I said, when you get out of the shower, a little will go a long way because it thins it out just enough and then it glides over your skin so well that you really don't need that much. Um, and they're really highly scented. They're just, they're awesome. Oh my God, it's got a worm. It's got a gummy worm on top. Okay, so this is scented in sugared cherries, strawberries, and raspberries. Oh my gosh. That smells so good. I love that too. It's, um, I think maybe the cherries and the raspberries pop mostly, but it does smell very candied too. Oh, I love that. I love it. Maybe, maybe more raspberry. Oh my God. Okay. I love that. That's mine. Um, that is, oh my God, that's freaking whipped soap. I'm such an idiot. I'm a, I have to, okay. I've never had her whipped soap. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna, hang on. Oh my gosh, it feels, okay, it feels really whipped and creamy. You know, I like that in a whipped soap. Some of them are too dense and co compact to where um, I don't really care to use them in the shower if they're too thick. Um, oh my God, that smells so good. I'm so excited to try her whipped soap. Okay, I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll love it. Okay, this is the body butter. Okay, stand corrected. Now this one is called My Best Friends Invisible. Let me go ahead and wipe this off real quick. All right, now this is the body butter. Still the body butter advice, still stands. 
Um, now this one is buttercream cupcakes. Now that sounds so yummy. Um, let's take a sniff. It's white, super creamy on top. If you guys can see. Oh my gosh, it just it smells like frosting. It smells like a really buttery frosting, which is exactly the scent description. Oh, that is awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think that's all. I think that's all. Let's see. The ticket soap, the whipped soap, the sugar scrub, the bath bomb, the body spray, the body butter, the vintage goosebumps book, and the reusable tote bag. Yep, that's it. That's awesome. I absolutely love it. I think it's a great box. I love her concept behind all of her boxes. Um, they usually have like some storyline too, but she's just so creative. I absolutely love all her stuff. Um, she's got some awesome Halloween stuff coming out too. So definitely go ahead and just make sure and follow her. Make sure that you get her next um, drop date or you'll, you'll miss out. Quite honestly, you will. She's got some really cool stuff coming up. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.